In today's video, we're going to take a look at Aries Commercial Real Estate Corporation, ticker symbol ACRE. This is the 19th video that's a part of my portfolio series where I'm doing an in-depth analysis on all 32 stocks currently in my own portfolio. If you're new to my channel, my primary focus is on income investing and also dividend growth investing with holdings that offer at least a 4% yield. As I'll say in every video in this series, this isn't done in any particular order. So just because this video is 19th in this series does not mean that this is my 19th favorite stock or my 19th largest holding. Also note that because I own all these holdings, I am biased towards them, so do your own research before making any investment decision for yourself. Feel free to let me know if there's any improvements to this series that I can make going forward. Feel free to check out last week's video, which was on Arbor Realty Trust, ticker symbol ABR, which is a 10% yielding dividend stock with some of the best long-term growth I've ever seen from a high-yielding investment. Going into my Vanguard account, which is where I do all my dividend investing, as of the making of this video, I currently own 264.201 shares of ACRE. Their stock pays quarterly dividends, with their last being for $0.33 cents per share. With the number of shares that I own of this stock, I receive roughly $87.18 every quarter, or divided by 3, which is what I like to do, that comes out to roughly $29.06 a month from this stock. Aries Commercial Real Estate is a specialty finance company that originates and invests in commercial real estate loans and related investments. They provide a range of financial solutions for owners, operators, and sponsors of commercial real estate properties. Aries Commercial Real Estate originates senior mortgage loans, subordinated debt, preferred equity products, and other CRE investments. According to their website, their goal is to create long-term value for shareholders and favorable investment performance across all economic cycles. They're a subsidiary of Aries Management Corporation, which is a global alternative asset manager with approximately $378 billion worth of assets under management. Considering the current environment that Aries Commercial Real Estate operates in, ACRE is a company that's continued to remain resilient. With a lot of people talking about the potential collapse in the commercial real estate market, the environment that this company does business in is riskier right now. For this reason, I consider ACRE to be a riskier than average holding. But as I'll go into detail, the company has continued to perform pretty well in this sector, despite the market being pessimistic about this stock. Their latest earnings results, which were just released not long ago, reinforce the fact that Aries Commercial is doing a really good job given the challenges that exist for them. There were a few reasons that drew me towards this stock in the first place. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I'm not the biggest fan of mortgage REITs because they tend to see the most dividend cuts out of all the other higher yielding types of investments like business development companies and closed end funds. There are a handful that I do like though and they all have competitive advantages over their peers. Like I discussed last week, Arbor Realty has been an excellent mortgage REIT over the last decade. Another M REIT I like that significantly changed their strategy after the pandemic to become more resilient is Rhythm Capital. This Emory now focuses more on mortgage servicing rights and owns other real estate companies, which has been a great strategy for them. As of right now, I currently hold a couple of other Emory's in my portfolio, including Ready Capital and Sachem Capital, but most of them are so small that they only make up less than 2% of my portfolio, so I consider them more speculative than anything. But if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll know that Aries Capital is my favorite business development company. I've been a big fan of just how well this BDC has been run for a long time, and they're currently my largest BDC holding. The management company of both ARCC and ACRE have also been a great performer for many years. They've got their hands in a lot of different areas including real estate, private equity, insurance, and infrastructure. Their stock performance shows that they've been a great alternative manager throughout the years and they've continued to do well in managing Aries commercial real estate. Since being launched more than a decade ago, this company has never cut its dividend, which is rare for an M REIT. Many of these types of companies have seen at least one dividend cut since being launched. In our high interest rate environment, many of these stocks including Anley Capital and Chimera Investment Corporation have been slashing their dividends like crazy. Because most MREITs borrow money to buy mortgage-backed securities, it's been resulting in lower profits due to how expensive it currently is to borrow money. But ACRE continues to do better than their peers, although that doesn't mean that things are easy for them. Looking at their mortgage portfolio, we can see that their largest investment sector is in office properties at 38%. In my opinion, this is probably the biggest concern the market has regarding ACRE stock. Out of all the property types in the commercial real estate realm, people have been the most concerned about office properties. According to the National Association of Realtors, the U.S. office occupancy vacancy rating has continued to rise steadily since 2019. Then fueled by the pandemic in 2020, things have kept getting worse for the market. We can see they hold mortgages in other sectors including multifamily, mixed use, and industrial real estate. Again, although they aren't as big as their office holdings, it's still well diversified in my opinion. All of these other sectors are currently doing much better than the office sector is. The company did alarm investors with their first quarter results this year when they reported distributable earnings per share of 27 cents per share, far below their declared dividend of 33 cents. With a payout ratio of over 122%, this undoubtedly caused concerns among shareholders, but Aries Commercial provided an explanation for the drop in their earnings per share this quarter. According to the management team, the reason for this drop was due to a one-time previously announced realized loss of $0.10 cents per diluted common share from a residual loan. The board announced that they expected this and that it would be a one-off situation. 
Earlier this month, the company reported their second quarter financial results, and the statements made by the management team proved to be correct. In their latest investor presentation, we can see that in Q2, Aries Commercial reported distributable earnings of $0.35 cents per share, and they also announced the same dividend of $0.33 cents per share that quarter. This gives them a current payout ratio of 94.25%, which is still higher than average for this company, but at least they went back to being able to more than fully cover their dividend. You can see that they've been able to fully cover all their declared dividends for many years. The navy-colored bars represent their regular quarterly dividend, and the teal-colored bars are their cumulative distributable earnings. So although they did have a tight first quarter this year, things have still been going decent for them. When looking at the share price of ACRE, it's still down quite a bit, which is the case for a lot of MREITs out there. But as previously mentioned, when interest rates rise, MREITs tend to struggle a lot more than other types of companies. But when the Feds hopefully lower interest rates next year, that's when I'll expect this stock and other MREITs to see a good recovery in terms of their share price. You can see before rates started to go up and the market started to fall, Aries Commercial almost fully recovered from the pandemic plunge. In the last three months, their share price has also been moving upwards by quite a bit, but until interest rates start decreasing, I wouldn't expect this stock to be in the clear just yet. As of right now, their stock is offering a massive yield of over 12.5%. According to their financial statements, Aries Commercial is also trading at a pretty sizable discount. With their NAF per share being $12.77 per share and their share price currently being $10.46, this means their stock is almost trading at a 20% discount. Because their stock has been so undervalued, another thing that Aries recently did was repurchase shares of their own stock. This is something that we've been seeing a lot of undervalued companies do recently, including Arbor Realty. In their latest earnings call, they announced that they had repurchased roughly 1% of all outstanding shares of the company's stock, which is quite a lot. In talking about the state of their dividend distributions, the company's CEO recently made this statement, quote, Since the first quarter of 2021 and for 10 consecutive quarters, we have paid out more than $10 million to our shareholders in the form of supplemental dividends. All on top of our $0.33 cent per quarter regular base dividend, which during the same time period totaled $165 million. In compensation, again, since the first quarter of 2021, our aggregate distributable earnings were $181 million, meaning that we fully covered both our regular and our supplemental dividends. To summarize, Aries Commercial is an income holding that I think has a decent risk-reward trade-off. Given the conditions of the real estate market, I wouldn't recommend this stock to a risk-averse investor who's really concerned about the economy. I also wouldn't advise anyone make this holding a sizable part of their portfolio. I know the 12.62% yield is extremely attractive, especially considering that they've never cut their dividend. But it's my own personal opinion that the landscape in the commercial real estate market is too risky to be staking a large position in a stock like this right now. But still, I've been a big fan of this stock for years and I plan to keep holding it for a long time unless there is some cataclysmic collapse in the CRE market. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up our look at ACRE. If you're interested, feel free to check out my Patreon where you'll find an Excel sheet of all of my holdings updated monthly. You'll also have the option of reading this analysis as well as every other analysis that I do in this series. Plus, it'll give you access to our Discord channel where we discuss higher yielding types of investments. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, then feel free to hit that like button below and click subscribe if you want to see higher yielding investing strategy content. Again, thank you all so much for watching today's video and until next time, take care.